Okay, I bought a Plot Watcher trail cam which takes a picture every five seconds. It doesn't have to, it doesn't work on a uh, trigger mechanism. So it just, every five seconds it will take a picture. Yeah, there's the rock he's behind. It's actually a very large boulder. He's right in there. Facing that way. No, I was on the other side of the creek. This is the area where I'm putting the trail cam. It's actually facing me. That's where the subjects were. Which you will see in this video here it's very hard to see they're up in that corner there actually what you're seeing is deer running down off the hill from right to left and then two looks like two subjects coming up bobbing their heads around and they're on that road that I was just on that old logging road and once they the deer see them they actually turn and go the other way. And it looks like all hell breaks loose here. And they're running the other way and running all around. And... Now, like I said, this is every five seconds these pictures are taken, so this is like a time-lapse deal. So I will show you them. The subjects slowed down and we'll see what you think. I really don't know what to think, but it uh, looks like Looks like it could be two of them. Looks like two heads. Now the angle that I have here also is looking up a steep hill. So you're only going to get a little bit of the subject if they're on that road. I believe they are on that old road. There you can see them, the deer coming down. It's, it's hard to see, I know. Okay, what do we have here? Here, the deer are coming down. Okay, now the subjects come around, they're going after them. Now the deer are retreating, running back. Now, I don't know what happened off camera here to the left. So that's basically all I got out of uh, four days of, I left it out for four days. Now you can see the deer running away. Well, somewhere in here, I believe, I was fooling around and flicking back and forth seeing what I got. Yeah, that's the, looks like the deer retreating there. Yeah. There's his head up, down. The other guy. There's the deer. I sure would like to know what happened there. Okay, I'm playing it again. They're coming down. The deer coming down. The, these guys pop their heads up. There's the other one. That might be the same one. Who knows? I, like I said, it's five seconds in between each shot. So 
Now I'm just fooling around with it here, showing you the head movement. This is actually pretty good distance from my camera, actually. Uh, I'm guessing 50, 60 yards. He's bobbing up and down. Okay, now the next shot will be, I think, three photos that I put together. Head turning sideways. Head, and then you got his shoulder and back. And here's, this one here is the other subject. Head up, down. Wonder how many pe wonder how many people don't tell anybody. I think most like if you got the wardens, game commissioners, you know, stuff like that, they won't say shit. Most of them won't. Probably not allowed to. Like you said, who the hell wants to start a craze where everybody's gonna freak out? You know. A lot of people are gonna freak out. I about disagree. Things. We've had this conversation nah, they're before. They're gonna freak out because they got their kids camping with them and everything, they'll freak out. Because everybody thinks... It just them. makes sense that if they've always been there, why would you freak out now? Well, they don't want to start... They don't want somebody like a policeman or somebody, you know, a game commissioner or park ranger. It's a little different. Now, when you got a lunatic like me <laughs> <laughs> saying I saw a Bigfoot, who the hell's going to believe me? 